One of my viewers by the name of Valky River challenged me to escape an impossible Minecraft prison. It was named The Return, and this isn't any ordinary prison. I have tried escaping it countless times, but I couldn't. I had nearly given up, but then it happened. The builder sent me the instructions of how to escape, and when I watched the video, I was stunned. The escape room was so complex that even beating it with the instructions would take hours. And believe me, it's probably one of the hardest Minecraft escape rooms in existence. And as usual, here's how you escape. On the wall, there's a list of items that you can't break, which I'll display on the screen. Though, you can break this sign. Above, there's a hidden chest and you can teleport here using the pearl, grab the copper slab from the dropper, break the chest, and tower up here using the blocks. There's a chest with an iron nugget, and the netherite block above indicates that there is something below. A water bottle. The magenta arrows hint that you should move the water to one cauldron, then place the bottle into this hopper, activating pistons. Then you break the chest and wool block underneath to reveal another room with an iron and gold nugget in two hoppers. Tower here, then go up this staircase. Once you insert the gold nugget into the dropper, an entrance will open, leading back to the first room. Grab the chest, then go through here, this time open. The door closed, and there's a piece of string and a pickaxe, which I can use to break the observer, and underneath there's a chest. With the logs, you can make a crafting table, then craft sticks to make a sword, and break the cobweb as well as a fishing rod to activate the pressure plate and open the next door. Once you break the plank below, you enter another room. There are magenta arrows and an observer, and in this room, a piston with another sign saying Rep 4. I think the magenta arrows indicate where to place each block. And Rep 4 means to set the repeater to 4 ticks. The contraption is complete, and now if you go here, there's a sign saying non-stackable item required. So you insert your pickaxe, craft a button, then place it underneath the dropper, opening another door. You mine the sand and enter another room. With the sand and gunpowder, you can craft TNT, place it in the dropper, grab the button, then press it here, activating some pistons and exploding the TNT. The entrance leads back to the first room, but I went back to collect the crafting table and button. You grab the chest, then notice there's another netherite block above. So align yourself and press the button, opening another entrance. Get the button, then head inside, where you'll be greeted by an annoying villager. Underneath, there's a dropper with three cactus, and behind, a furnace with a rosebush. He trades white concrete for a button. To get the green dye, you need to smelt the cacti, though I won't use the chests as fuel, because I need them to staircase up. Oh yeah, there's also a hopper with redstone. That villager is trapped there forever. In this room, there's another redstone dust under the lava and a hole. I decided that my only option was to drink the milk, grab the lava with the empty bucket, put it here, then recollect it, which should open the next room. There's a wet sponge in the wall and behind a furnace. Now you can smelt the sponge using the lava, draining the water into the bucket. The room below is pretty dark, so a water bucket MLG isn't safe to travel down. I'll use a resource pack to increase the brightness because this room is pitch black. There's more redstone underneath the cauldron, and I think you have to fill it. The dropper contains an iron nugget and a redstone torch. One sign on the wall reads X equals 25, and another Z equals 32. Once you head to the coordinates and place the torch, a bunch of pistons will activate. The exit is hidden in plain sight. The sign says bucket only, so you grab the button, insert the bucket, then activate it, opening the door. Place the button on the magenta arrow, and an elevator will take you up. I disabled the resource pack and found some grey wool. When you head here, there's a wall of lava. I decided to look around, and I actually found a potion of fire resistance and night vision. Drink the potion, then head to the other side, where you'll find a chest with these items. The pistons open a hidden entrance in the lava. You grab the chest, and also another one above. 
I don't see what exactly to craft yet, so I'll break it and jump down here. There's a long way up. You can stack these blocks, but it won't be enough. Well, you could make some ladders to get up. Apparently some red dye with the rosebush, and another redstone torch for a repeater. Tower up with the ladders, head through, and there's a button and a dropper with an iron ingot. If you try the ladder, nope. The stick, also nothing. What about the bottle? Well, look at that, it actually opened the piston door. There are netherite blocks and a magenta arrow, and now you can place the redstone here, and the left arrow indicates to place the repeater in this direction. There's a hopper with cobblestone and an ender pearl, and you probably know that you have to place the ladder here and glitch through the bedrock. We're back in the first room, and you can craft a lever, which I suppose you can place here to open the door. Nothing? Now it worked. There's a sign saying Revel, and a bunch of other pistons. Well, Revel is lever backwards, so you put the lever in the dropper. There's a block of dirt above, and you can tower up with the pistons. You enter a large room. Underneath the dirt, there's a hopper with a stick, and behind the oak planks, a crafting table, and a dropper with paper, a flower, lapis, and an iron nugget. If you look closely, you'll actually find an invisible row of string. The recipe book says you can craft a flower banner pattern, a loom, and some wool. Not enough for a banner though. Oh, there's actually some more string in this room. Wait, a door opened. You can staircase there with the blocks, craft a blue dye with the lapis, and a banner. I made a backup for this. The banner is a key, and a red banner didn't work, so a blue one might. There we go, and it worked. You get the blocks, and a villager trades the banner pattern for slime, dirt for pistons, and you can actually make magenta dye. You can't reach the barrel, so just jump down here. There's a huge stretch of lava, and seemingly nothing to get across, but if you check the lava, there's a hidden hopper with honey, observers, and a pickaxe. You can craft a honey block. Now, I am no expert at redstone, and I searched up how to build a flying machine to no avail. I used the hint on the wall and made several backups. I hope this works. And it's working. This sign says exit and reverse, and the other, hopper. The villager trades a netherite ingot, netherwort, blackstone, and slime balls for the blaze rods, then craft a brewing stand, blaze powder, and magma cream for a fire res potion. Insert the netherwort and water bottle, then wait. There we go, and there's actually a smithing table behind the cauldron. And you can make a netherite pickaxe, and there's another iron nugget in a secret hopper. Netherite doesn't burn, so that's probably the key to open the exit. Just use these random blocks to get up, but you can always come back. In the corner, there's three wool and three planks. You could go left or right, but I'll just go this way first. It's the same villager as last time, so I don't think you need anything. The furnace contains an iron ingot, and in the barrel, a hoe and five more ingots. You might as well just break the barrel. Wait, it actually transferred to the furnace, so now you can smelt the iron hoe. There doesn't seem to be anything left to do here, so just head to the other passage. There's a crafting table with a bunch of recipes, but let's see. You can make three magenta wool, then craft a bed. Now, if you place it here and block this side, you should be able to glitch through the wall, back into the first room. With an iron trapdoor and pressure plate, you can place the trapdoor above and the plate below to crawl into the next room. Looks like someone's trying to summon Herobrine, except there's a chest underneath, a bow and some arrows in the dropper. Once you craft an iron ingot for a flint and steel, you head this way, and behind the blackstone, you'll see the nether portal. Here, there's a TNT, and this way, if you shoot an arrow through the lava, it'll ignite the TNT. Now there's a target, and if you shoot it, pistons will activate, and I think you have to open this door. Let me try inserting my items in the dropper. 
It opened. Now, what isn't necessary? The chest wasn't required for the combination. You get a shovel, which you can use to break the glowstone. Tower up with the other blocks, then... The chest is empty. Head up the stairs, go through, and we're back. So now you can go in the portal and enter the nether. The hoppers contain an instant respawn potion and crying obsidian. You can craft a respawn anchor, charge it, and use the damage potion to respawn in another room. In the hopper, there's a nether potion with jump boost and night vision. Drink it, then jump here, and grab the eyes of ender and fire charge from the dropper. This way, you can light the nether portal. There's a boat and an ice road, which will take you to the next area. Placing the boat on the pressure plate will open this door, and there's a bunch of eyes of ender scattered everywhere. And again, we have returned back here. No wonder it's called the return. I haven't explored this area yet. There's an end portal, and you can fill the frames, but there's still one more eye. Yes, there it is. Alright, we've entered the end. No, that's too many items. Just collecting all the stairs. Oh, it's actually pretty easy. You just craft a bunch of blocks using the recipe book. Smelt the copper with the pressure plates for 3 ingots, and you can craft a lightning rod. Now to get up, tower with all the blocks. Get the soul sand, and that's a tiny portal. End potion, and ender pearl. We're back in the cage, so teleport out, drink the fire res potion, and head through the lava. And we're back here, but you can create a bubble elevator using the soul sand. Nearly reached it. You have to swim up and jump to reach the platform. There we go. Another? This one's tall. Let me try again. I made it. Two bottles for a button. There's another netherite block above, so again, align yourself and activate it. The huge piston door is opening the exit. I've done it. I've beaten Minecraft's hardest escape room. Thank you for watching.